Hello guys, uh, here I have something special for you. Uh, as I have shown in previous videos, uh, this is the CPM cartridge in a, and it runs CPM on the older Commodore 64, but it used the Commodore 64 video, which is uh, 40 columns. You can use by software eight columns, but it's the very thin letters. Uh, so I've been chasing uh, eight column cartridge. So I got these ones here. For example, I have here the BI-80, which is berries included. My one has a switch to switch over the album because it gets the composite from the Commodore and outputs either the Commodore or the 80 column display. Uh, it has a good signal, uh, the, the quality of video is good, but the problem with this, it has a ROM and it uses 80K of your Commodore 64. It adds extensions to the basic, they call it basic 4.0, which is pretty bold, but you cannot use, because in theory, uh, we could get uh, ex Expander 3, and as long as they don't use the same pins at the same time, you can use both, we could try to use both the CPM cartridge and the uh, cartridge. But the problem with this cartridge is, well, we would need to modify to remove the, the ROM. And also the, the main issue here is uh, the address used to write on on a, on a run, VRAM. This one, he uses uh, uh, the, it's not the MC6845, uh, but it's the six is the R6545, six, six, five, uh, six, five, which has an indirect mode. Uh, maybe the, the, the addressing is not the same as these two. So if we remove the ROM, we could probably do it. And my second video card is the Protector 8 comes in a box, but the funny thing is, it is in fact a uh, video pack 8 rebranded. Uh, it looks pretty premium, like uh, it's nice and uh, same shape and uh, format of the 664. Uh, but this one's not working well, uh, there's some issues I need to fix. Uh, I don't know what it is, uh, need to debug. It comes with the manuals and, and floppy. Uh, this one does would not work with the extension because, uh, as I said, the addressing modes. It used the uh, 9800 address in X, which is on over the CPM. And the third one is the Z8 video pack. This one is special because it includes a it already includes a clone of this card inside. There's a you know, daughter, bo uh, daughter border. Uh, in fact, the eight columns is the same card, is the same as this one, except that this one has an extra, it accepts the, 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 not accept, it runs on a power supply. You need, you need at least 7.5 volts to get it working properly because it has a, a, a five volt regulator. Uh, and he has a, a daughter bar that is exactly a clone of the, the CPM that goes on top. And he has a different, uh, he has a, a PAL IC chip that controls the, the signals and the addressing. And this one is different from this. You check it, you see that they, 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 they have different codes on it. This one allows switching from 9800 to uh, F800 on a, on a, uh, memory, so you can use CPM on this. Uh, so let's show to you. Uh, the problem with this is that it gets the vid feed the video from the Commodore 64 to, to it, and it multiplex, and you get this output, which is off. Let me get the zoom. The card itself, it has a lot of noise. So it adds this noise to the output of the video. Well, if you have two monitors, which most be the case because 
uh, you would need a monochrome monitor to see properly in the columns. You could keep using your monitor, but the way it's designed, it's awful. But anyway, so I have here, I have the disc, I have a version of the CPM that came with this video card and it's called SBH. So to load it, we do load SBH. And we run. Uh, but I'm gonna show you this CPM version has problems. It has a lot of issues that I give up using it. It's useless. You can't use it because it has several, uh, there's there's a, a main bug on it that larger files over the track 16 it, they get mangled or corrupted, and you cannot save or write in proper. So there's a huge bug. Uh, the video is flickering because it's in composite mode, but if we switch over as video or a video component, you get only the Luma, which is only the monochrome uh, portion of the video, which looks pretty good. Also, the other problem with this board is snowing. You get, every time it updates the, 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 the screen, you get snowing because it does not wait the VSync to happen and the uh, CRTC ship is reading the run while we are writing and we get the bus contention and that's what happens. So I begin it seems fine, right? But then you have this problem. Dell key doesn't work. You have to press Ctrl A. Ooh, ooh. It doesn't even work all the times. Why? 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 Didn't test it? Didn't rush it to go to the market? And loading anything, it takes forever. Uh, but I'm gonna show you the, the amount of snow we have. It's cool that it has a status bar and shows the sector reading or writing, but you see, it's awful. Also, to add to this, it does not support the standard uh, Commodore 64 CPM disk. It has an all format. So it's complex to transfer files to it. And it's, it has all these bugs. So I gave up on this version and I decided to, to get the source codes for the Commodore 64 version, for the Commodore version. And I built my own uh, 80 column driver on top of the old 40 column CPM. I still in, in SC video, so it doesn't matter. I'm not using this mode. So in this case, we just do load star and we load my version of the CPM. Takes a while. Uh, with this version, uh, I change how I, I do the scroll because if you look to the previous CPM version I showed you, it would copy the whole screen up because it keeps the status bar. And this caused a lot of snow because you're copying every character. But here, instead, in my in my version, I am updating the CRTC scroll position. So it's just one right to the VRON to move the the whole screen whole screen up, and it causes a much less noise. Uh, it, it's barely visible. For example, let's do a deer here. You see, you, you can't pretty much see. Uh, so. Let's move to a different program. Why not? We don't get. We all came here for this, right? WordStar. Takes a while to load, as usual. It's the access is pretty bad for the for this CPM version, it's it's over the serial protocol that is flawed and slow. There's no means, no easy way to improve it. And yeah, and also uses uh, its own format. I have no idea how did they transfer the files from CPM or they thought they would transfer, probably over serial, 
but I didn't see any software on that. Also, Commodore give up on this version because it only works on older CPM, the older Commodore 64, the ones that have five pin output video, which has a 83 chip, VIC-2 chip. There's some difference in timing between the, the, the clock, the Phi-2 line, and the way it answer that it ceases to, to work on newer models. So see, when it's updated the screen, you can see, especially when it's uh, reversed video, you get this little noise, but it's not bad as the other version. So yeah, that's slow, much slower than any other CPM machine you've ever seen. So let's open a file. Takes forever, huh? Sample doc. I hear my the 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 Dell screen Dell button works correctly. The backspace. Also, uh, this uh, Commodore CPM allows you to map every key. So I map the cursor keys to the word star diamond. I map this key to ask key, the first key here, the, the left arrow. I don't know how it's called it. So we can have ask the cursor here and also clear home I mapped to control G, which means the Dell, you delete the character under the cursor, not to the left. Yeah, it's loading overlay, it's loading the file, it takes forever. It's it's and also to add this the z8 runs at one megahertz it's just not good at all so as you can see uh we can i can use the the, the commodore cursor keys to control which is pretty nice uh, i run out of space i could not add those uh, advanced routines to scroll delete and search roles I don't have space anymore in the track to to make them to work, but it works. For example, move up, right, left, or you can use just use the diamond here or Control Z to scroll down, Control W to up. So yeah, it's it's it works. It's it's cool, you can use WordStar. Uh, I'm gonna show you another thing. So we're just going to, it's faster to reboot. Let's show you another application in CPM. Load star eight. Because I would have to go back to main menu and reload, it takes forever. Let's reboot and <laughs> reload the whole system. Every disk I put the, the tracks or, or the, the boot tracks on it so it, you can boot on every disk I made. I got a few programs. Uh, I have MB Microsoft Basic, I have Zork 1, 2, and 3, I have Hitchhike Guide to the Galaxy, and I have the, the my CPM version. Uh, it's pretty easy to transfer files to it. You can use the C2s program that is available. So you can copy files from from the internet and, and use. I used the the zoom floppy to transfer the disks. So here, for example, hitch hike. Now oh, it's a long journey to actually load, but yeah, it works. It generates a lot of heat if you touch the. the the Gao ship on the Z8 board. It's really, really hot. It came with a manual. It tells you the, the codes. And you can emulate this video card on main. You need, oh, you need the ROM that is the character set and 
the the ROM that is the, the system I didn't show you but I can show you later is the internal ROM to give 80 columns to the basic you need these two ROMs to to be able to run on main but I found some issues on main uh, because when you switch there is a, there is a several registers on 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 it that is controlled by the the, the main pow uh, main gal ship on the board uh, and when you switch the outputs the multiplexing if it's the commodore or the video and you switch also the address you want to access the vram because the vram the 2k is a window available it's either it's 9 9800 or f800 it's there is one bit that switch over but when you switch over to f800 you lose access to every uh, CRTC register so you cannot control the screen so every time you need to access a register you need to put back the 9800 uh, uh, right on it and switch over F800 again and you need to address when you change cursor when you move the screen not when you write right you just write direct to the VRAM uh, yeah so on man it, it, it doesn't have this thing so it, uh, when I was doing and I tested here, why it's not working here? And I feel oh, it's a buggy. So, yeah, we see like a darn lot too fast. Lights on. I configured the game to use the cursor addressing the reverse video. It looks pretty nice in 80 columns, slow as hell. Yeah, that's it. I'll show you the la latest feature, which is the the ROM. You just do sys three six eight six seven to get on eighty column. So you have now uh, the, the basic running eighty column. See, uh, if you press. F5, it goes to 40 columns, but I have no idea why would you want to use that. And F7, go back to 80 columns. Yeah. So I'm going to show you the card. As, as I, sh I showed before, this version, it uses a very flimsy case. It's a vinyl case. It's very fragile and it's very hot is the Z8 video pack and if you compare here it has a power out input so yeah that's it it's a pretty rare cartridge I finally uh, got it and it's on par with this one you see this one has the same door the same Lots, but this one doesn't have the the power yeah that's it hope you enjoy i'm going to make available my version of cpm so if you have this board you can run it and yeah that's it thanks for watching bye bye